Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how that I scan my artwork. This is the scanner that I have, it's the Epson Perfection V600 photo scanner, which is an A4 scanner, but I also use it to scan some of my artwork, which is over A4 size, and I'll show you how I do that as well. So I'm going to show you how I use it normally, and then I'll also show you how I do it for a piece that is over A4 size. Just showing you here what it looks like and I keep a microfiber cloth handy so that I can wipe this scanning bed with it um, before I scan just to make sure that all the little bits of dust is like gone so there's no dust on there because otherwise obviously you scan it there's going to be little imperfections on your scan which is not what you want. This is the picture I'm going to scan today this one I think is seven by seven inches or eight by eight inches and um, so it fits in here perfectly. So just place it in right tight to the corner so that it scans it not at a, at a wonky angle or anything. Please ignore how messy my desktop is on my computer, it's a nightmare, but anyway I'm just loading up the scanning program and I'm going to scan at 1200 dpi which is what I usually scan at. I always would preview the scan first just so you can pick what size um, you want it to be so you can highlight, as you can see here I'm just highlighting the area that I want to scan. And then um, you can specify the size as well with this scanner. You can say exactly what size you want, but I'm just doing this as an example. So anyway, and then I press OK and save it. We can pick where you save it and then it scans and it does take quite a while. So I'm going to skip this part because if the higher the resolution you scan at, the longer it's going to take. So it does take about four minutes at this DPI. Once it's scanned, this is what it looks like. So it looks nice and neat and then if the background does need retouching up like there's if there's some marks on the paper or just coloring or it just looks strange you can always use photoshop and edit that out so now i'm going to show you how i edit um edit how i scan something that's not a4 this would fit in the scanner but i'm just using it as an example and scanning in two pieces so i scan one side first i'm just scanning that now And then once that's done, I turn it over and I scan the other half. And then I'm going to piece it together in Photoshop in a minute. So it's again, just preview it and then you can select the section you want to scan. I'm just going to rotate this because you can rotate it just so that it matches the other one. It just makes it a bit easier, makes the Photoshop process a bit quicker and then save it again and then I'm just loading up Photoshop now. Just opening up a new project and I'm just using a random size because I didn't really think this far ahead. I just pick one that's 10 by 8 inches, just plain um, new project. Open that up and then I'm going to drag the files into the um, into the canvas. dragging it over because it wasn't going to fit otherwise I should have picked a bit of a wider canvas to put this on but never mind and then yeah just drag the second half on as well and then you're going to see in a minute that there is slight issue with this so I'll show you how to correct this in a second so I'm just using the arrow keys just to line it up this can take quite a while and can be quite frustrating but because I scanned them both in at the same size they should match up pretty easily without having to zoom in or out or anything which would be an absolute nightmare. But as you can see there is a line down the middle where you've joined it up there's this line and that's where the piece of paper that you're scanning is slightly bent in the scanner so it scans it slightly darker so what I do is I scan then the middle section and then I'm going to piece this into Photoshop as well and put it over the top I'll show you in a second. So again, just scanning it, and then I'm going to open up the file, the picture file, and I'm going to crop the edges out, and that's because these are the bits which are at the edge of the scanner, which are going to be slightly the wrong colour, they're going to be a bit darker where they're bent coming out of the scanner, I hope that makes sense, and then I'm going to save that, and then open up Photoshop again, and I'm going to put that file into Photoshop. And then again, just going to use the arrow keys to line it up again, which again takes quite a while. 
but it's worth it in the end. Then when it's all eventually matched up correctly, you shouldn't be able to tell at all that you've pieced it together, so that's great. Um, and then I'm just going to save it, I'm just saving it as a JPEG. And then, and then I'm just going to crop the top and the bottom out because you can see the paper's uneven where I've pieced it together. So I'm just going to open it up and crop the top and the bottom. And then yeah, there's the final result. And yeah, you wouldn't be able to tell that you've pieced it together. So it's handy when you've got pieces that are bigger than A4 but you only have an A4 scanner. I mean, there probably are easier ways of doing this, but this is just the way I figured out how to do it and it works for me at the moment. If you found the video useful, I have had a few requests of showing how I scan my artwork, so hopefully this should help you. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.